The true answer to that is I don't have one because my job was to score goals is my bread and butter was to score goals all the time. If I scored one, I want to score two. If I scored two, I want to score three. So uh, whether I scored a goal from one yard out or whether I scored a goal from 20 yards out, I got the same satisfaction. And the biggest satisfaction is um, when you score a goal, you see the smiles on the supporters' faces. So there's nothing, nothing better than that. They've had a fantastic season so far. Uh, but I would go with uh, Van Dijk. Van Dijk would be the best because not just for him not letting goals in, I think his organisation, when he organised the defence around him. And last season, we were letting lots of goals in at the back. This season, uh, we're not doing that. And that is largely down to Virgil van Dijk. He's absolutely been amazing. And for me, not in just Liverpool, but he's been, he should be the player of the year. It's very difficult. They're all completely different areas. Uh, for me, Bill Shankly built, built the foundations. No, he was there, he put the foundations, which to be successful, you need to put the foundations in first. Bill Shankly put the foundations in, and uh, Bob Paisley took it to a different level. You know, he's, he's absolutely amazing there. You know, Joe Fagan was only manager for one year, he won three trophies at Liverpool. So Kenny Dalglish, when he went to be a manager, was fantastic and all that. But for me, because he, he signed me now, I'd have to say Bob Paisley. It was definitely Mo Salah last season because for me last season I thought he was the best in the world. He was even better than Ronaldo and Messi last season. Uh, this season I'd say Sergio Aguero because uh, he had a few injuries. Uh, he still scored, I think he scored maybe uh, one goal more than Mo Salah, but uh, it, for this season maybe Aguero. Again, you know, the number one would have to be Kenny Dalglish because uh, I played with Kenny. He was absolutely amazing. Um, you know. I think if you're looking at today's, no, I'd, I'd love to play with Mo Salah, you know, because he, he's very quick and everything. Uh, and again, you know, I'd have to say the other one which I played with would be Robbie Fowler. You know, uh, they would most probably be the three. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd play with any of them three. <laughs> Jurgen Klopp is uh, has been absolutely fantastic. You know, uh, this is his third year now, when Liverpool is slowly getting better and better. You know, people saying. After three years, you know, if you haven't won anything, what's going to happen? But I've seen improvement there. You no, know, Liverpool are playing good football. Hopefully, we will win the league and all that. But uh, there's no better manager than Jurgen Klopp. He just brings positive energy to people. You know, when every time you see him, he gives you a big hug. So it makes you feel that you want to give someone else a big hug. You know, that's how that's what he's like and all that. And he does that with the players as well. So uh, yes, um, no, I think he's been absolutely fantastic. Would be Steven Gerrard. You know, I didn't play with Steven Gerrard. He was, he was absolute quality. Uh, for, for about three or four years, he carried Liverpool Football Club uh, by himself, just being absolutely fantastic. I played with some great midfield players, but I would love to have played with Steven Gerrard. Maybe a, a PE teacher or anything. No, I play not just football. I play cricket. You know, I played hockey and everything. So anything to do with out, uh, outdoor sports, uh, no, I most probably would have done that.